Okay, in this video I'm going to do a fairly complex calculation and I'm going to do it rather quickly. And what we're going to look at is um, how the intensity of the ultrasound pulse changes as it travels through the different materials and as it's reflected from those materials. In this case I have three centimeters of fat tissue followed by and I'm going to write this in here, uh, four centimeters of muscle tissue. Okay, and so first of all I'm going to look at some of the properties of both the fat and the muscle and make a note of those. So the speed propagation of the pulse through fat is 1.45 millimeters per microsecond. The um, attenuation coefficient for fat is equal to 0.63 decibels per centimeter per megahertz. And the uh, impedance of fat is equal to 1.38 uh, megarels. Again, and then for muscle tissue, we have the speed of propagation, 1.585 millimeters per microsecond, the attenuation coefficient is 3.3 uh, decibels per centimeter per megahertz, and the impedance is equal to 1.7 megarels. Okay, and so just to get started, I'm going to um, call this one fat and this one muscle. I'm going to look at the uh, refle reflection coefficient at this interface first. So I'm going to calculate that first just to get that out of the way. And so I have my impedance. Um, uh, let's see. So the, sorry. The. intensity reflection coefficient, which tells you how much of this is going to be reflected, is equal to the difference between the two impedances. So um, the difference between the muscle, impedance of the muscle, and the impedance of the fat, divided by the sum of the two impedances, muscle and fat, and then that is squared. Okay. And so if I plug in uh, my values, um, since the units are all the same, they're going to cancel. So I'm just going to write in the raw numbers here, uh, 1.7 minus 1.38 and 1.7 uh, plus 1.38 and square that. And so I do that on a calculator. I have 1.7 minus 1.38 enter and in order to divide by the sum of these I have to put parentheses around it so divide by parentheses 1.7 plus 1.38 parentheses and enter and so that's um, before I square it, that's equal to uh, 0.103896, etc. squared. Now, in this calculation, it's going to be advantageous to include quite a few decimal places, so I'm going to include at least four or five. Okay, but now I have to square that term, and now that comes out to the end. Uh, intensity reflection coefficient um, is equal to uh, 0 0.01074. Zero, uh, I'll just bring all those along. Okay. Um, Okay, so now that I've calculated that, uh, the 
what I want to look at in this problem is actually I want to start out with a certain initial intensity up here at the transducer and that's going to be equal to I'll just use a thousand milliwatts or a watt per square centimeter and then I want to look at how it's been attenuated um, when it reaches the first interface so I'll call that I1 and then I'm going to look at um, the reflection which is I'll just call it I sub R and uh, how much is transmitted I'll call that I sub T and then uh, I also want to look at um, the uh, and I call it um, I sub 2 which will be the intensity of the echo that's received at the ultrasound transducer and just for fun I'm going to look at another one I sub 3 which will be the intensity of the sound after it passes through this amount of muscle tissue okay so we're going to calculate all of those I1, I2, I3 IT, the transmitted, and I sub R, the reflected intensities. Okay, so uh, first of all, um, as, again, as the sound travels through this tissue, it's going to lose intensity, and we looked at that in a previous video um, that the attenuation is equal to um, the attenuation coefficient times the distance it's traveling times the um, frequency of the sound. And in this case, uh, the attenuation coefficient for the uh, fat is 0.63 decibels uh, per centimeter megahertz, and times the distance, which is um, 3 centimeters, times the frequency of the transducer, which is 6 megahertz in this case. All right, and so I can figure that out. Point six three times three centimeters times six. And so that's uh, the attenuation is equal to eleven point three four decibels. Okay, and so if I started out with a, a 1,000, my um, intensity at point number one is equal to is equal to um, the initial intensity times 10 to the uh, minus decibels over 10, uh, and so that comes out to be equal to uh, 1,000 uh, milliwatts per square centimeter times 10 to the um, and this divided by 10 is negative 1.134 okay I'm going to make a note of that number because I'm going to be using it again later so if I take this and uh, if I take and use my yellow 10 raised to the minus 1.134 decibels or uh, power sorry and that comes out to be um, point zero seven three four five okay and then I'm multiplying that by a thousand Okay, and so that's a thousand uh, milliwatts per square centimeter, and so that comes out to be 73.451 milliwatts per square centimeter. So that's how about the intensity will be when we reach um, this first interface over here. Now let's look at the uh, reflection, and I said the reflection coefficient was uh, came out to be 0 0.01794, and so that's a portion of this uh, wave. It's already been diminished quite a bit, down to 73 milliwatts. Now it's going to be diminished some more 
when it's reflected. So only a small fraction of that wave 